What's going on, everybody? It is your boy Dylan Matthews back at it again with another hometown take. Today, you see it. I'm talking about the Atlanta Hawks, and you already know what time it is. It's time for an Atlanta Hawks Cleveland Cavalier final round of the 2022 NBA play in tournament preview. The winner of this game gets into the actual NBA playoffs as the eight seed and will take on the number one seed Miami Heat. Game one would be Sunday, Easter Sunday. That's when game one would be in Miami. But first, we gotta find out who gonna win this game. And I'm gonna give you a preview. I already know I got the Hawks as far as the picks go. Come on, man, hometown take, picking the hometown team. But how are we going to win? I'll jump into that, discuss that, and a lot more. Some matchups to watch keys to the game obviously and all that good stuff in this preview but before i do that you know we gotta handle some business so make sure you like this video comment your thoughts subscribe to the channel and check out the link down below down below ooh, ooh. to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel help fuel the atlanta hawks to some more wins and more impo most importantly i should say a win friday tomorrow against the cleveland cavaliers to get into the nba playoffs all right so let's get right into it we're going to start this preview by looking back let me take y'all back man as i do so well we're gonna go back and look at all the matchups between the hawks and the cavaliers this season there was four of them so let's go through the four the first one was early early on second game of the season early on where the Cleveland Cavaliers bested the Atlanta Hawks 99 to 96. Close game. Uh, it was a good game. Uh, quick box score. Isaac Okoro, Jared Allen both had 12. Colin Sexton, who was still playing. Obviously, he's out for the season now. He won't be a factor. He had 19. Darius Garland had 15. Evan Mobley had 8. Lori Markinen had 11. Um, to be honest, don't remember too, too much about this game. I know it was a close one. Um, Looks like, yeah, Trey Young was actually out for this game. Um, so that was a big, oh no, I'm sorry, y'all. Is this the preseason? My bad. That was the preseason game. <laughs> I'm tripping. We did play them second game of the season, however, though, and the Cleveland Cavaliers did win 101 to 95. I'm tripping. I was like, that don't look right. All right. The actual box score, <laughs> Solomon Hill was still on this team. Cam Reddish was still on this team. 19 points for Cam off the bench. DeAndre Hunter had 12. Uh, John Collins had six. Clint Capella had 10. Trey Young had 24 and seven. Bogey only had five. He was still in his starting role, so he got off a little shaky. The Cavaliers had a very good game against us. Lori Markin at 12. Jarrett Allen, 11 and 14. Evan Mobley, 17 and 11. Ricky Rubio, who was still on the team at the time, 23 points. Colin Sexton, 12. Uh, Kevin Love had 12 as well. Darius Garland wasn't in the mix, but it's going to kind of balance out because we know Darius Garland is on the team now. I mean, is playing now and starting. And Colin Sexton is injured and he's out for the rest of the season. Look, the biggest key is going to be stopping Evan Mobley because he has killed us every time he has played the Hawks. In this game, second game of the season, they won 101 to 95. He has 17 and 11. Jarrett Allen, who could play, had 11 and 14. So the main theme of this preview is going to be stopping Jarrett Allen and Evan Mobley and neutralizing them as much as we can on the boards. Now, last night against the Charlotte Hornets, the Hawks did a great job of attacking the glass, got second chance points. You can tell they were really hustling and really motivated on the defensive end. DeAndre Hunter was bringing down boards. Trey Young even got in there and got three rebounds as well. So the big thing for me is, is how are we going to contain Jared Allen and Evan Mobley? We can't let them eat us up on the glass. We can't let them get too many second chance points. We can't get them, let them just get offensive rebounds all night long, get easy putbacks and easy second chance points. That's gonna be the thing. But the Cleveland Cavaliers did win the, fir uh, the first meeting of the year in the second game of the season, 101 to 95. Now, fast forward to March 31st. That was the second game of, that was the second game we played them this year. The Hawks actually got that win, 121 to 118. Now. If you see, um, it's a little bit different. Jared Allen and Evan Mobley both did play. They were both big factors, but they didn't have as many rebounds. They both had double-digit rebounds in that first game. In the second game, 
21 and 8, 16 and 8 for Jared Allen and Evan Mobley. So containing them on the glass, containing the Cavs on the glass. Now, Kevin Love did have 35 and 11. He was going crazy that game. Um, so we just can't let all three of them, Kevin Love, Jared Allen, Evan Mobley, go crazy on the glass because we know we, are, we know all of them are rebounding facades. They're rebounding goats. So we just can't let them attack the glass and we can't let them get easy second chance points and easy offensive rebounds. Uh, for us, um, we were going through a little COVID um, trouble at this time of the year. Trey Young did have 35 and 11 though. Clint Capella had 18 and 23. We're going to need that type of effort from Clint Capella again. Um, and who was this? In Wundu. That's one of our uh, uh, Skyhawk dudes, I think. Wes Wundu had 12 points. Uh, he won't be a factor as we know. But the key, again, crashing the glass, getting to those 50-50 balls. Also gonna have to knock down shots. But it was good for the Hawks to get this win. We really needed this win. This is when Lance Stevenson and all them was on the team, Charlie Brown Jr., uh, when we going through our COVID thing. So we won the second game of the matchup, 121 to 118. The key, we did better on the glass. All right, fast forward now to February 15th. We took on the Cleveland Cavaliers again. I wouldn't put too, too much stock into this game. Um, be, well, actually, no. I would put a lot of stock into this game. So, Jared Allen and Evan Mobley both played. 22 and 10 for Evan Mobley. Uh, 14 and 7 for Jared Allen. So, you know, we, we let one of them get off. Kevin Love had 21 and 7. But only one of them had double-digit rebounds. The game we lost so far is a game that both of them had double-digit rebounds. So, again, attacking the glass. Also, um, Darius Garland, we got to see if we can uh, definitely neutralize him. 30 points for him. He had eight assists as well. But everybody else, you know, they didn't do too much. Kevin Love did have 21, but um, Dean Wade only had eight. Isaac Okoro only had six. Uh, Chetty Osman only had six. Kara Subvert only had nine. So, you know, we got to find a way just to, if, you know, Darius Garland and Jared Allen, Evan Mobley, if they're going to do their thing, fine. But we can't let anybody else kill us as well. Or we take away those guys and see if the bench can do anything. So that was that was the last big game that, you know, kind of both teams were fully healthy. And these were going to be the teams we're kind of looking at. John Collins was out this game. The This March 15th game is going to be the game that looks, it's going to be similar to the game we're going to see tomorrow. Because it's pretty much the same lineups for both teams. Nila Gallinari had 25. We need that from him. DeAndre Hunter at 18. We need that from him. Um, Clint Capella had five and seven. We're gonna need a better game from that. We had a good game last night, so hopefully he can have a repeat performance of last night and not get dominated kind of like he did down low in uh, the February 15th matchup. Trey Young though had 41 and nine. We're gonna need a big game out of him. Kevin Herter, Cave Vaughn had 13 like he did last night and hit three threes. We'll need that. Bogey had 10 off the bench. Hope for a little bit more from him. Onyeka Kongu, eight points, three rebounds. Hopefully we get a little more of him, but DeLon Wright and both Bogey had seven rebounds, so did a good job attacking the glass. And the glass game was close. Rebounds 39 to 35 in favor of the Cavaliers, but as long as we stay close and don't let them blow us out on the glass, I really think we'll be fine because I think our role players a little bit better than the Cavs. I think, you know, Bogey's better than an Isaac Okoro or Chetty Osman. Danilo Gallinari is better than, you know, uh, Kevin Love at this stage in his career, you know. So we'll see, but the main key is going to be dominating them on the glass. The last matchup was March 31st. We won that one pretty handily, but they did not have Jared Allen or Evan Mobley in that matchup. So this is the one I wouldn't put too much stock into. We blew them out 131 to 107. Like I said, they didn't have Isaac Okoro or, I mean, not Isaac Okoro, they had him. They didn't have Jared Allen or Evan Mobley. Now, we at least know they'll have Evan Mobley. Don't know yet about Jared Allen, we'll see. But if they do have both of them, again, attack, attack, attack the glass be relentless on the boards everybody has to do it too deandre hunter clint capella obviously nyeka kongu danila gallinari everybody has to be attacking the boards point blank period because jerry allen and evan mobley are twin towers down there and i'm going so in on this because i know this is going to be the difference in the game if we get out rebounded by a lot we're probably losing this game unless Trayon just goes for a crazy 50 burger and goes nuclear but Jared Allen and Evan Mobley can both change the outcome of this game. That is how big those two are down low. Jared Allen 
is a all-star center. Evan Mobley probably should be rookie of the year. Darius Garland, he is a problem as well. But I think the way our guard play is set up, we can kind of neutralize a Darius, a big Darius Garland performance with the big performance from Trey Young. But Evan Mobley and Jared Allen down there, we need Clint Capella to be big, and Yaka Kongu is going to have to come up big. Um, and they got some shooters too as well. So we're going to have to be on our game defensively. We know that. We're going to have to have some good rotations. Last night we fell asleep a couple of times on rotations and gave Charlotte some wide open threes. We won't be able to do that this game. They'll, they'll kill us. Kevin Love can shoot. Chetty Osmond can shoot. They got some shooters on that team. So, you know, playing good defense, playing great defense is what we'll have to do. Um, we know that for sure. So we'll see what happens. But I'm telling y'all, like I've emphasized this whole video, this game is going to come down to the trenches. Who's going to get the rebounds? Who's going to get the 50-50 balls? Whoever does that the best, whoever has more rebounds, probably is going to end up winning this game unless it's close. But if Cleveland wins the rebound battle and blows us out in the rebound battle, I'm telling you, they're going to win this game. And I don't want that to happen. I don't want that to happen. But I'm telling y'all what this game is going to come down to. Who's the better rebounder team? Who gets to the 50-50 balls? That's what it's going to be. Obviously, you got to make your shots and all that stuff. That's, you know, we know that. That's obvious. But the deciding factor, rebound. I'm telling you right now. Book it. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys, how you guys are feeling about the Atlanta Hawks. Do you think they're going to win? You got a score prediction? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, another thing I want to bring up real quick before I wrap it up, Trey Young. Hopefully, he gets off to a quicker start because Charlotte luckily started off slow offensively as well and you know Danilo Kevin Herter Clint Capella they started off hot offensively for us so we didn't struggle offensively we were still effective offensively even though Trey Young struggled early on I want to see Trey Young get off to a hot start so hopefully that happens and uh, we'll be good to go but all right guys let me know what y'all think in the comments down below like this video comment your thoughts subscribe to the channel check out the link down below to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel, help fuel the Atlanta Hawks to some more wins. Until I talk to y'all tomorrow, stay true to Atlanta, believe in Atlanta, go Hawks, peace.